गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू मदर टू सब दिस इज फॉर सब मॉर्निंग फॉर मेरा लाइक टू टू आई वुड लाइक टू टेल अबाउट द फ्रीज एंड द ग्रेट एंड द फ्रीज एंड द फ्लो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर इट्स कैन बी सेड दैट द प्रोग्राम इज ऑलरेडी हैज बीन कंप्लीट सो हियर द सिस्टम इज अपडेटेड एंड वी आर हैविंग द ऑपरेटिंग एडजस्टमेंट सो वी कैन इंक्रीज द आरपीएम like this and uh, this is your on button you have to start first and then you have to increase the rpm uh, slow by slow okay uh, that is you are ensuring the uh, how much voltage i am giving as an input see here 80 voltage is the input and then 100 voltage is the input and then 150 voltage will be the input so for different adjustment we will be setting this thing. okay so i am going to set this speed as 80 Okay, so 80 volts is my input velocity, and then here you will be seeing the uh, reading of uh, this particular or this plate. Okay, so the bottom you found the output plate that you found the uh, inlet or base, and then output or base port. So this inlet and output or base port has been fixed in the uh, mercury manometer. So this mercury head will have received the uh, pressure head of this particular or this plate. And then uh, this is set to be the static pressure and the uh, uh, total pressure uh, of this uh, particular bit of static tube. So this is the bit of static tube. So with the help of this uh, two liters of potential, we are going to calculate the pressure velocity. Level. So I have also to fix the voltage now. So what I am going to do is I am going to have the different models of this uh, uh, arrangement. Okay. Uh, so this is the pitch resistor part. You can fix it at the uh, free end of the chip, but we are just uh, increasing the flow. From increasing the flow, we are providing different cross sections of this inlet. Uh, okay, so I am going to fix this. So I can adjust uh, this, and then I am going to fix this. It is having a threaded pop, so that I can uh, easily fix it here, right? And then I have to adjust this threaded uh, pop. So I am considering my initial position of the threaded pop. So I am considering my initial position of the threaded pop. So my initial position is that. So I have to fix it in a form, right? So that I can adjust the threaded pop in a certain position. So here, this is set to be the 2D traversal mechanism. So we can move it to x-axis, and then we can also move to the y-axis. So x-axis, y-axis. Okay, there is some movement here. We can adjust the pitot. Okay. So here, uh, there is some adjustment here. There are two of them. Yes. So here, I can move this. Right through the center. So I am going to move this in the center like this. Yes. So and then I am maintaining the center and uh, my measurement position of uh, x-axis has been shown here. So it is 11, 11 centimeter. So 11 centimeter is my initial position. Okay. And uh, I am going to take the reading for 80 voltage RPM. I am going to take the discharge of this velocity. So you will be having the manometric head, but you will be having the velocity here. So from manometric reading and velocity head, you are going to calculate the velocity of uh, both exit velocity as well as uh, orifice plate velocity. And uh, you will be going to compare these two velocities, and you will be going to find the actual amount of discharge uh, which will be happening on the input process. Right. So the main aim of this experiment is that. We are going to draw the velocity curve, and you are going to calculate the uh, mixing. Rate. So where exactly the mixing rate is going to be? Right? So when we are setting this experiment, we will have to suggest that uh, where will be the exact mixing rate of the mixing that uh, we have lost. So the losses of the exact has been uh, just uh, uh, mixing with the outside atmosphere. So if mixing is proper, sound is being produced. So in order to reduce the sound, we are just reducing the sound. And we are designing this orifice, uh, this uh, different exhaust stuff orifice. So uh, this exhaust stuff orifice tip will be provided with some pad like this, and then we will be having small conical jet 
and then uh, here we will be having the strong conical chip so of different dimensions is there so all are like uh, 1 4 inch and then uh, uh, half inch 1 4 inch and then 1 inch okay so of different diameters we will have this experiment and we will uh, learn the average uh, experiment from this right so next yeah we had fixed this uh, with respect to x axis and y axis i had fixed this so my x reference frame is 11 centimeter and then my yes okay uh, so it is 11 centimeters and then uh, my y reference frame is here so we will be found 21 in the right hand side so 21 is my y reference frame and when i am having uh, the z reference frame so this z reference frame is nothing but this thing okay so it is around uh, we have the longest median so here we have the initial of zero so this is uh, with respect to uh, 11 okay so 11.6 so i am considering 11.6 as the z section median so exactly i can fix it so 11.6 okay. okay. so 11.3 I had fixed it so I had confirmed my Z axis frame and then X axis frame then Y axis frame so this is zero to the dimension uh, travel circuit so according to this position I took this 11 centimeter as the initial position so I had put this 11 cm as this initial position. So from this 11 cm, I am going to calculate what is the last Right? So in this respective position. And then I am going to increase the y axis from the uh, zero position. And then I am going to increase the y axis, uh, y axis increase and decrease. So total, I am going to take about the six position. So which has been displayed in the laptop. So, so this will uh, be found here, right? Uh, so here, uh, this is the H1, H2. So here I am showing you the X, Y, Z. So my first initial position is 0, where Y is changing from 0 to minus 4. So there were 6 positions. I am changing the Y axis alone. And then from Z axis, I am going to change. We have 0 at the initial position and then 2. So 2 means I am going to treat the position of uh, Z axis. So up to 2 centimeters, and I am going to take another similar reading for y axis and then 4 for another y axis. So for why we are calculating this uh, specimen like this means we are calculating all these things in different position means we are going to calculate the three dimensional velocity. So three dimensional velocity is going to be the same So using this three dimensional velocity, we will be going to use the three dimensional velocity. So that I will be able to uh, really address that where exactly uh, the flow is uh, continuing for uh, getting mixed with the flow to most of the master. So that is how I can be able to do So with the C to pay, so I am going to turn on uh, the flow here with the RPM of uh, 80 volt. Right? Now it is working. So here we will be finding the H1 H2 difference using this mercury manometer. So on the left hand side we found the H1 as 4.5. So on the right hand side I will found the mercury level as so it is nearly with uh, yeah it is nearly with 13 12.5 so here it is 12.3 and uh, that is 12.5 okay so 12.3 and 12.5 12.5 is the first position. So while I am entering this reading, okay, you will be found the value of H and then you will be finding the value of capital H and uh, here the formula has been added. So we have to change the formula. So here instead of this, okay. So the maximum reading is found in H2. So H2 minus H2. So we, so this will give you the exact rate, right? So we will found the capital H and then discharge of the flow and then we will be found in the 
velocity of the particle. So it is up to 3.6 okay. And then uh, we have still we have to enter the theta static to it. So here is also I am going to change the reading as uh, this minus this. So I will be changing this as h2 minus h1 h2 minus h1 right and then this enter okay so i have to enter this h1 and h2 so minus so this plus and h2 will be yeah here is going to be h1 so h1 is 19.5 and then h2 is 21 so 19.5 21 so it is 19.5 0.5 the store is the given right so we will be found that this is your h and we will be finding the free jet velocity as okay okay so we will found the rts velocity which is coming out of the rts plate is we have to 3 meter per second so at the help of the current mass of this particular uh, rts plate if you are increasing the velocity to 3 meter per second so this is the actual case and then uh, this is the explanation and then uh, now uh, from this explanation so the velocity uh, has to be uh, and the formula is I think uh, I have been calculating for both of you so uh, this is mercury we are putting mercury here so the density of mercury is up to 13,600 uh, okay so I have to add 13,600 so for this formula we are having density of water so I have to change it into density of mercury so this is density of mercury so it has 13,600 okay and then we can right so we will be having the velocity here so the velocity of the r phase velocity is up to 13.3 and uh, the free jet velocity which we have is the maximum velocity it's dependent upon the uh, r phase that we have velocity so we have to calculate the uh, x axis and the you have to go into the y axis and the z axis consecutively and we are going to get different results. So uh, with the help of this exercise, okay, uh, you can uh, directly evaluate the right? So uh, I will be explaining you that uh, how can we do this exercise. Y axis So we are going to take the y axis So uh, what is that uh, the reading is uh, for different position of the axis, which is around uh, 2. So top you will count the constant rating of this part by second, that is 13.3 plus the velocity is to be constant. But when you are taking the velocity in the other way, we are going to have the velocity in the other way. And then for the position of x, the velocity on the y direction will be the velocity in the other direction is also to be. So we have to analyze this. So that I am now by taking the position of x as the other way. I am going to take the VD So I am going to increase the Y axis up to 2 V. So by 2 V, by increasing 2 V, I am going to calculate the velocity. So here, so I keep this. So here the value is 21. So I am going to adjust only for 2 V. Yes. So I have adjusted for 2 a.m. Right? So with this 2 a.m. I am going to find the velocity here. So still showing. I think I'm 4. And uh, this is 21.1. So we are getting on 4. So 19.4. And 21.1. Right? So I'm, now I am going to consider only the velocity here. 
right? So here, uh, yeah, uh, we have made the end ones. Yes. Yeah, we will be seeing that uh, the three velocity, three jet velocity, so from the potential curve to the outside curve, okay, where the y velocity is increasing, so that the velocity is also increasing, right? So, this is now at the volume and then we increase it to 4 m. So from this to another another yes. I have set it for another two. Right. So for this another two minutes, we can be finding that the peak was shown 19.5, and uh, uh, this was showing. Yes, uh, 21, 21.2. Okay, so 21.2. 21.2. Okay, so we'll be having the same pressure rate and then uh, same preset velocity. Okay, so for two different processes. Okay, so I had already said for outside position, now I'm for downward so we have the reference level as 21 right so from this 2 mm i am going to reduce right from this 2 mm i am going to reduce and i have adjusted and i am taking the reading here so what will be the bottom of scale so it is exactly 19.5 and this is exactly 21.5 So minus two for minus two nineteen point five twenty one point one okay so this is my bottom of reading yeah nearly the same velocity so it was sixteen point zero right and then so again I'm going to reduce the part two again I'm going to reduce the part two Right. So I had adjusted for another problem and now it uh, was showing 19.5 and it was showing 21.5. Same. I have taken the same thing. The same one. 19.5 and then 21.5. Right. So I will get all that. So in the uppermost I am having the velocity 16.5 and in the bottommost I am having the velocity 16.5. Right. So the value of this H1 and the H2 for this zero position index is set to be zero. And uh, it has been fixed the bar that means it will be constant for all the cases. Right? And then the bar is this. Okay, so for this it will be uh, showing that it will be bar face. And it's velocity and it is not the second one in the constant, but whereas the velocity has been changing with respect to x axis and So, uh, we could plot this x axis velocity and the y axis velocity and the z axis velocity with respect to different positions, and we will be notifying that how the velocity is getting changes. So, if you are taking the daily velocity, I will teach you to do How this theoretical velocity is So now we can say that we can adjust the same thing into z axis position. So now we are going to have the same x axis as 0 position. Now we are adjusting this to 2 mm quadrant. So 2 mm quadrant means 2 mm z axis quadrant means. So we will this into z axis. So right now the position is in minus 4. So y axis is in minus 4. Now in z axis I am going to move for 2 mm. Right? So here I will be having non point five here, right? Now I am going to move two mm forward. So one, two, right? So two mm I had moved it to forward case. Now I am measuring the velocity. So for two mm case, okay, while I am measuring the velocity, so it is uh, going 
lighting point here and the here it is showing yeah same 21 point so this is for minus 4 reading so the value is 19.5 and then 21 point right so i am obtaining 16.03 same velocity in the x axis uh, second position okay. so in the same kind okay i can repeat this for uh, 4 so minus 4 and the minus 4 so we can adjust to plus 4 also so minus 4 plus 4 so minus 4 plus 4 means minus 4 and the same actual case we have in the axis already so minus 4 and we are just uh, uh, but after going up, we are just going in this direction. So I am going to change another two here. So one, two, right? I now I had adjusted the another two here, and I am moving on the other one. So there is a small jump in velocity. Here we found 19.4, and this is 21. Yes. So 19.4. So 19.4 and the 21. Yes. Now we will be obtaining the values. Yeah. Yeah. And the velocity is maintained constantly. Right. So in this section, it was maintained. Also. So now, uh, likewise, uh, we are having the minus 2 position. So in the same here. Okay. So we have 4.5 or 11.5 is actually the mean reading. So here I am going to adjust the set axis as forward, backward to a So for backward to a okay, we may see the question of the top of the road, right? And then here it will be noted as uh, 19.4 and then 21. So this is for minus 2 reading. So minus 4, minus 2 reading. It was same reading, 19.4. Okay, and then and then minus four minus four, right? Okay, so now we are going to my direction that is reset that axis minus direction after two years. Okay, so I have two years. Now I am going to be reading to the plus nineteen point nine from doing five. One, one. Okay, so we will be seeing the last right? And then in the same way, we are going to calculate for the remaining way, right? So now I can adjust it for y axis, only one more y axis that is in that position. Now uh, we are going to calculate it for uh, minus 2, right? So for minus 2, what will be doing? So minus 2 and then uh, the same process. Okay. So now I am just setting the y axis. Y axis has minus 2. So minus 2 means minus 2 y direction I have to make it forward. Okay. So I had made it forward and then this position is uh, set axis. Now we are having the position of minus 4. Right? So to this same. Uh, minus 4 position. Okay, now I am going to calculate the value of this velocity. So this is velocity. So the velocity is same 19.5 and then 21. So 19.5 and 21 is velocity. That has been obtained. So this is with respect to uh, we have the y axis position as minus 2 and then uh, we have the position called the 4. Okay, so in this. Minus 2, 4, okay, the value is 19.5 and then 21. Right? So, we will be obtaining the variation in velocity here. Right? So, the velocity variation is the same as 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 now, we can change the 
Thank you. 